This video introduces you to the Bathymetric Data Portal that shows you how quick and easy it is to order data from the web shop and get it into the existing Mike suite of products. Two products are available, the 2 meter satellite derived bathymetry for select global locations and the 90 meter composite product made up of a range of sources. So to the portal. It's quick and easy to get the data. You can browse as per the usual methods by scrolling and zooming or you can use the gazetteer. In this case we're interested in Pool Harbour so have selected for this area. To select data you can scroll and move around and simply draw a polygon of your area of interest. Here you can see the total value of your selected area and the products that are available, both the 2 meter and the 90 meter. Alternatively, if you know your area of interest, you can either select the KML, KMZ file or shape file for your area. Once the area has been selected, the amount of 2 meter or 90 meter data is shown along with the cost. Simply pressing the green button adds this data to your cart and allows you to move on to the review and selection stage. Choose your payment options and agree to the order terms. Once you've placed your order, you'll see a confirmation. And it's possible to go to your orders and view recent orders and see any details for your particular order. Details include the order status, the size of the download, and the general area of your interest. Once payment is received, your order will be available for download as a zipped XYZ folder. This contains an XML file with metadata as well as the XYZ data itself. Moving to the Mic Mesh Generator, you'll be familiar with this scene. You may already have charted bathymetry data, given the broad bathymetry. And in many locations, you'll have more detailed topographic information, such as this LiDAR data from the Channel Coastal Observatory. This immediately fills in a lot of the areas with very high resolution information. However, it's still possible to have gaps between the charted data and the detailed topography, often known as the coastal white ribbon. This can be filled with products such as the 2 meter bathymetry. Firstly, however, there is a need to convert the projection of the data using the Datum Convert tool. Data from the portal is horizontally referenced to lat long WGS84 and to LAT vertically. Importantly to note, depth values are positive in this and therefore require conversion. With the Datum Convert tool, it's possible to choose your projection system to convert from and to. The input data consists of the X, Y, height, Z, and a quality text indicator. Once converted, you'll see the X and the Y values have changed, and now all that remains is to save this file to a suitable location with a suitable name to allow you for further use in the mesh generator. It's possible now to select your two meter bathymetry product and import it into the mesh generator. This provides a significant increase in coverage over the existing data sets. It's then possible to draw a polygon in the usual way to define the area of most interest. Once defined, you can then create the mesh, picking a suitable resolution to generate at. Once generated, you can see there is a significant amount of resolution, but the data set underneath it is even more resolved. With such high resolution data, it's possible to set the value from the scatter data itself rather than allowing the interpolation. This speeds up the process and also provides the high resolution that's provided by the underlying data. Once you've exported your mesh, it's possible to use it in a range of applications. In this case, Animator. In this visualization of the data, it's possible to see the resolution that comes from the two meter satellite derived product. 
channels that were from the charted data can be seen to be quite blocky. However, the uh, sandbanks and the intertidal channels are very clearly defined from the satellite-derived bathymetry. Details such as the groins and the intertidal sandbanks are clear to see as well. For more information, please check out the portal at bathymetrics.shop slash intro.